Hi, this is Stara Webster, Office Servers and Services MVP, and we've been waiting with great anticipation for Office 365's planner. Uh, the preview is out, and there have been some uh, mixed troubles of trying to, to see it within Office 365. Some have got it, and it's appeared as a tile, mm -hmm. and others are still waiting. And we've received a, a message this morning in uh, the Office Office 365 admin portal and our message center. So I encourage you to go and look in there. There are some instructions now about how to get that activated. Uh, so in the admin center, we'll go into the message center uh, preview. You can go directly to that message. You see there, sign up for the, the planner preview today or jump into the message center and see that message uh, in its full. Uh, so there we go, we'll just launch that. And there's some instructions about how to get it going. So we first of all have to open an in-private browser session, as you often do with uh, getting into different services with Office 365 uh, without trying to mix environments. So let's bring that window over there. We'll drop in the link. And you can, uh, I had a look at this page a little earlier before the recording. Um, don't start filling this form out, okay? This is this is if you want to preview it and it'll set you up with a tenant. This is sort of more like a marketing page. If you've already got an Office 365 tenant, then you need to go up to the top right-hand corner and sign in. So as we sign in, then it'll be able to um, add it to an existing tenant. Sorry for making you wait as I type. This is a very raw recording. Uh, what else do the instructions say? Sign in, uh, sign in as a global admin. Uh, we want to try it out now. My old address. <laughs> uh, confirm the order. Yeah, so we're ordering the, uh, the preview of Planner. So um, it looks like we're being guided to go through that process uh, because uh, the the provisioning or automatic provisioning um, hasn't been as smooth as we, as uh, Microsoft would like, so this is a way to give it a helping hand along. Now, what's what's the effect of this? Apparently, now that I've signed into the preview, um, what we have been looking out for is if people have received Planner, they supposedly um, have been given licenses. So now let's have a look in. Uh, we could have a look in billing and see if licenses have turned up there. Um, there we go, Office 365 Planner, 300,000 licenses, very generous, thanks very much. Um, but now we'll assign them to our users. So this is uh, the moment of truth really for helping this process along. And hopefully this video will be helping people out to get it together. Assign it to myself and assign the licenses. What have we got? We've got uh, an E3 and we're going to assign a planner license. Now I've got no idea how long this takes to provision. I'm hoping that as I save it, uh, that it will uh, provision the service and if I'm lucky, maybe that tile will now be in the, nope, definitely not in the tile um, area yet in our app launcher. Um, let's try a refresh and um, failing that, what I will do is go directly to the planner uh, URL, which is tasks.office.com, I believe. Um, so let's just have a look in our app launcher now. We've got planner. We had planner. It disappeared. Um, let's try that again. What I'll do is I'll go to uh, another tab with, uh, let's say, uh, OneDrive. And we'll see if the, the tile or... or um, app within the app launcher is available um, across a different service. Just thinking maybe that it's uh, disappearing briefly. Okay, well I know I saw it there, I know that I'm licensed, uh, it's just that the tiles are sorting themselves out in the app launcher. So let's go directly to uh, tasks, get out of the way preview, let's try that in a different tab. Oh come on Edge. Never mind, tasks.office.com. Now beforehand, when I was signing in here, um, we were saying it's not quite ready for you yet. Now this just gives me the, the additional feeling that the, the planner service is feels like it's a separate service to Office 365 and maybe it um, is sitting alongside it. 
So we're signing into it as if we were signing into the SharePoint service um, or Exchange service. Uh, forgive the beeps and buzzers. Like I said, it's a very raw recording. And we're in. How about that? I'll stop here. I mean, I'd, I'd very much like to, to jump in and start playing um, my tasks. I can jump in and start putting things together and put together a new plan. But the point of this video, ah, there come my groups. So my groups are there, and now I'm sure that I'll be able to add a plan to each of those groups. Um, but yeah, the, the point of, of uh, this video is to try and show you how to get Planner provisioned and so you yourselves can start working with it and, and mucking around. So that's the end of the video. Hopefully this will uh, help. It's only five minutes long. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Get stuck into using Planner.